So this is a new seasoning on Smooth Operator by Baby Audio. Um, and if you're new to this channel, new seasoning is to do with newer plugins. Seasons to Taste is just stuff that I have that I wanted to show off. And then I also do other random bits and pieces. So if you like music and or variety channels, make sure you subscribe. So Smooth Operator is a spectral processor. What does that mean? Well, I kind of had to think about track spacer a little bit to make sense of it, but basically it takes all of your audio, puts it into like lots and lots and lots of bands, and then it basically does compression on that to actually give you tonal balance. So it looks like an EQ when you look at it, but it's actually doing um, spectral compression. Um, at least from what I understand. This is the first plugin by Baby Audio that I've tried that is meant to be a utility plugin rather than something that's purely creative. If you've seen some of my other videos, you'll see Baby Audio do some really cool like tape effects and they have a really nice sort of like reverb echo sort of thing. But this is the first thing that I've seen from them that's actually meant to help you with mixing and mastering. That doesn't mean there's no creativity, however. I mean, firstly, look, you can have, you can have different colors. Um, I'm going to keep it on blue for the rest of time. And Baby Audio, if there's a way to make this default, tell me. Um, but I'm going to stop talking about it for a bit. I'm going to play a little bit of the track. I'm going to bypass it. And then you're going to be able to hear what it sounds like. Let's go. And that's at least a little bit of a start of what Smooth Operator can do. Um, now, I'm running Smooth Operator on my master channel um, because it just sounds really good on the master channel. Um, and I'm just messing around with it. But there are lots of really good presets here. Um, one that I actually tried out was this harsh and mud remover um, on one of my other tracks. And genuinely, this actually worked just you know, really well, straight up. Put it on messed with this sort of like mid threshold and it was good to go. Um, but let's talk a little bit more about what we actually have in Smooth Operator. So this focus tells Smooth Operator how precise to be with its adjustment. So Smooth Operator, when you change these nodes, will automatically figure out which frequencies in there it needs to work on. Um, but focus will tell Smooth Operator whether it needs to go to like really small details or to go on to like wider bands of compression overall. And when you have focus at zero, you're basically running Smooth Operator as like one big compressor. And um, when you put it to 100, you're working on it with almost every band having its own like little mini um, compression going on with it. And then you have these nodes. Um, so what you do with these is you can drag them up or down or left or right, much like I was before. Um, and you scroll to adjust the Q, so to adjust the shape of the curve. Um, so this will be really familiar to anyone who uses an EQ, which I hope is, you know, everyone. But this isn't actually doing EQ. It's just telling Smooth Operator where it is it needs to apply its compression a bit more or a bit less. So you're telling it where to put more or less of that effect. If you pull it up, you have less of the effect. If you pull it down, you have more of the effect. This middle node here tells Smooth Operator at what point to start its spectral compression, but you can move that point either to the right or to the left. 
um, if you need to move any of these bands further up or down because if I move this here real quick um, I can't move that node past doo -doo -doo. yeah it won't let me move that node past 198 hertz whereas if I move it to the right it will let me move it wherever I want to beyond there so if you're wanting to do some like more work with the low end you might find that it's better for you to have your low shelf one node here pull this back bring your second node across and then you have like three ways to tame your low end with smooth operator and then you can have one big high shelf to help you with your high end i like smooth operator it's really quick and easy to use and that's the biggest thing that i like about any sort of utility plugin if it's easy for me to get a really good result out of it and then has a bit more depth beyond that and um, that's pretty much the sweet spot. Smooth Operator can also work with a sidechain and do sidechain spectral compression. Um, if that sounds familiar, if you know about Waves Factory's track spacer, that's basically what you're able to do with Smooth Operator. I would show you it, but this track isn't set up to work well with it. And I've got to be real, the only other projects I have are already almost completely mixed. So I don't really see where I would want to fit this in and then have to rework everything else around it. But that's something you can do. You can send sound from like your vocal track into Smooth Operator as a sidechain and then have it work to cut out frequencies in your synth so that there's no like space that it's using up. So normally Smooth Operator is going to be $69, but at the moment they have it running at $39 because it's an intro sale. So if you're interested in it, definitely go ahead, get your trial. And if you really want it, just get your order straight in. I hope you enjoyed this episode of New Season. I quite like doing these. As a heads up, I've got another TR6S video that I'm planning on. I just need to get some more work done on it and then it should be all good to go. Um, I'm thinking that it should maybe take a week or so for me to be able to do. Um, but yeah, um, thanks for watching and all that. Make sure you subscribe, like this if you like it and all of that. Cool.